Check them up. So the Liquid Elements pack from AE Juice comes with 1,000 plus frame by frame 2D animated elements, all of which were created by a professional animator. Frame by frame animations can obviously be very time consuming to create. Not only that, they require a ton of skill. So that's the beauty of this pack, is you can incorporate this 2D animation look, these elements, very quickly and very easily. Not only that, it's gonna be very customizable. What better way to show you these cool 2D elements than to try to recreate some shots from my favorite animated show, Dragon Ball Z. Now I actually bought this cool Vegeta action figure with hopes of doing a stop motion animation tutorial, but actually never got around to making that just yet. So when I was asked by AE Juice to review the Liquid Elements pack, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. And if you're interested in picking up one of these, just follow my affiliate link in the video description. So I shot the action figure in different positions against a little green screen. I shot it in 4K, and I'm gonna be posting this in a 1920 by 1080 comp, which is gonna give me a lot of versatility. I'll be able to resize that. I can do like punch-ins, and I can animate a camera, move things around, and everything's gonna stay in sharp focus. Now FYI, the reason I shot video here instead of high resolution stills, which would have made more sense, is because of the fact that I just got some new Blackmagic cameras and I wanted to play around with them and test out the keying capabilities and the color profiles. Anyways. So as you saw at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna be creating this teleportation shot and then a nice little title graphic. So let's see how we can get this done. Now this little action figure is amazing. I took a, quite a few shots in different poses, which again could be accomplished with a simple high resolution photograph. So for the first step, I keyed out the background using the effect key light plus key cleaner plus advanced spill suppressor. As you know, you gotta get your Super Saiyan glowing. So I used the Deep Glow plugin from Plugin Everything. You can go ahead and use the standard AE Glow if you want. Now this glow is pretty intense. So to get it how I want it, I'm gonna duplicate it and then turn off the glow for the second layer here. Now I have this nice outer glow, but I wanna kinda blend everything together here. Now all I really need to do is lower the opacity of this top layer and it's gonna start to reintroduce some of the glow on my character, but it won't be as intense. And in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it again and mask out his hair so we can get, you know, I want his, uh, his Super Saiyan hair to be obviously much more bright than the rest of his body. So now I've got my glowing Super Saiyan Vegeta. Looks like he's floating in space or something. Now I'm gonna use liquid elements to bring this animation to life. So once I've installed the product, I'm ready to begin. To load the panel, I'm gonna to go to Window and select AE Juice Pack Manager. Here I can view both the free and premium packs that I've bought. Now I'm just gonna simply click on Liquid Elements that'll download it, click the icon to launch all these elements in a new tab. Now the interface auto previews these elements which are divided into categories. I can do a keyword search and add elements to a favorites list if I want. Now since I'm doing a teleportation shot, I'm gonna search for the keyword teleportation. Now two shots come up, I'm gonna grab this second one, looks really cool. Now AE Juice offers me a number of customization options to adjust prior to applying this element, and all of these can be found at the bottom of the panel here. First I'm gonna adjust the color to this nice Super Saiyan yellow slash gold. Now the next option here is a loop option. If I click on this, once I apply this element, it's just gonna simply loop this. So this is a very handy tool, but I don't want it to loop this first teleportation effect, because when he teleports in, it's just gonna happen once. Just to the right of this is a mesh deform effect. If I have this checked, when I bring my element in, it's gonna come with a deform effect, the mesh deform effect, so I can kind of uh, tweak it a little bit if I want. Next, I'm gonna pick the styles here, which is this little cog. Now, since we're talking about Super Saiyans here, I naturally need to pick the glowing option, which is the only glowing option here. Okay, now I've got everything set up the way I want it. Now I'm gonna apply this element. Now this can be as simple as a drag and drop. I can bring it straight over to the comp panel or straight into the timeline, or I can click this little import button here. Now I just need to scale it and reposition it, but actually this is looking pretty good. It looks like it's right on target here. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna quickly pre-comp all these Vegeta clips so I have one nice pre-comp. There we go. Let's see how it looks. All right, very cool. Okay, perfect. Now I could reposition and scale it, but it's actually already in the perfect position. Right before Vegeta teleports in the frame, I wanna have an explosion. So there's actually a category for explosion. I'll scroll down and I'll pick one of these here that I like. This one is perfect. Now for this one, once I apply it, I'm gonna to need to scale it way up and reposition it. 
Once I've got it roughed in, I'm going to trim the Vegeta clip so that it's revealed just after the explosion. Let's see how this looks. Now, I want a lightning bolt to actually trigger the explosion, so I'm going to go over to the electricity category and grab something that looks good. I'm going to change the color to blue and then add the element. I'll scale and reposition to have the bolt travel from off screen at the top to the very center of the explosion, and then I'm going to retime it so that it happens a little bit before so that it really looks like it's helping to trigger that explosion. Now, let's say that Vegeta is Super Saiyan level 2. So I want to add some electricity to his body as well. And I want these electric bolts to repeat. So before I apply them, I'll toggle on that loop button that I was talking about earlier. Now for this one, it's obstructing his face a little bit. So I'm going to do a rotation here. Basically just flip it upside down. Now it's not going over his face. That looks perfect. And once again, this is going to repeat. After the explosion and the hit here, I want to add some camera shake to really sell the shot. I actually have another cool plugin from the guys over at Plugin Everything called Handycam. This is a really great tool that makes working with AE cameras very, very easy. I'll link to it in the video description if you want to pick up a copy. To use this plugin, I need to create a null layer and then add the Handycam effect. And then I will initialize this, which will create a new camera. And then here under Effect Control, I have all these um, camera control parameters that make it really, really easy to add this camera shake. So I'll bump up the frequency a little bit to maybe five, and then I'm gonna animate the amplitude so that it hits hard and then kind of slowly ramps down. Now before I preview it, I just need to make sure that my layers are marked as 3D and I have my motion blur turned on. Let's take a look at how this looks. Okay, for the final element, I'm gonna add some speed lines. As luck would have it, there's a category for speed lines. I'm gonna apply this. Now these are like a square aspect ratio, so to properly position these, I'm gonna unlock the scaling and then bring up the X scale. And I'll time it to come in directly after the explosion. Now as a final, final step, I'm gonna add some flicker to Vegeta's glow really quickly. I should've done this before. But I'm gonna go to my pre-comp here, and under the deep glow effect, I have the radius. So I'm gonna alt click this, and I'm gonna set the wiggle to, let's say 10, um, comma 100. Now let's see how the final shot looks. Now I'm going to create a text title. I've downloaded a Dragon Ball Z style font. This was created by a guy named Ben Palmer. I'll leave the link in the video description. It's uh, available for free download. So I'm going to go ahead and type out the word Vegeta. And now I'll center align this. I've set the color to this DBZ style red and I have a black stroke at 28 pixels. I'm going to adjust the kerning a bit here so that it's overlapping. And I'm going to add some fire to the background. That'll be my main element here in the in the piece so I'm gonna go to the fire categories and there's actually a category for fire loops so I'm gonna select one here make sure my color is still set to this gold or yellow color and the style is glowing and now I will apply this and I'm gonna adjust the scaling a bit I'm gonna unlock the scaling and then I'm gonna scale it up on the Y axis kind of reposition it just a bit let's see how this looks and I'm gonna keep this simple. So what I'm gonna do now is just add a bunch of these different electricity elements and change the size and rotation and position of them. So I you know, have some big like lightning bolt hits in the background and then a lot right over the text element here. And once I'm through with this, I now have my text title. Okay, so that's liquid elements from AE Juice. Now, I know there's a lot going on in this video. We got a sweet coffee mug. We got this amazing action figure and we have all these awesome animation elements. So if you wanna purchase any of this stuff, I'm gonna have links in the video description. Now for the Liquid Elements pack, there's two different ways you can buy that. You can buy it as an individual pack, or you can buy it in the I Want It All bundle. I'm gonna to link to both of those down in the video description, and you can figure out which one works best for you. And if you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna see more of these cool Tuesday tool videos, go check out the playlist on my channel, or just hit that notification bell, and you can see all the future episodes. Thank you.